Hi everyone, I'm Dylan, and today I'd like to show you some interesting ways to use the mask tool in GoDaddy Studio. Now, you'd use the mask tool to hide or erase certain areas of an image, graphic, or text. It's tucked away at the far end of the editing tray, and you'll notice that there are four different modes. Two on the left for masking with either a hard or a soft edge, and then the two on the right are for unmasking, which is basically undoing any masked section also with either a hard or a soft edge. You can pinch in to work in more detail and then pinch out again to see the full picture. Here are six of my favorite applications of the mask tool. By placing your text strategically so that it subtly overlaps with an image below and then masking out these overlapping sections, you can create the impression of depth and volume in a two-dimensional image. I suggest reducing the opacity on the text layer so you can see where the overlap is and then bring it up again when you're done. This will create a sense of depth as if the words are floating in the same three-dimensional world of the photograph. The same thing can be done with graphics and photographs. Try adding a pattern over a photo, reducing the opacity on the graphics layer and then selectively masking some of the overlapping graphics. With some of the pattern appearing behind and some in front of the person in the photo, you get a real illusion of depth and a sense of playful fantasy. For cutting out the background from a central subject, the Remove Background tool couldn't be easier. But sometimes there might be artifacts in the cutout that need tidying up, and this is where the mask tool comes in really handy working a bit like an eraser to clear away any unwanted edges. Of course, if you prefer a more rough cutout look, which is more appropriate for certain styles of collage, then you can use the mask tool to erase the background of a photograph by simply dragging your finger. Remember to pinch in when you want to work with more precision. One sneaky little thing I use masking for is to modify patterns to accommodate some text or logo or perhaps more clearly reveal something behind the pattern. The mask tool can erase the areas in the pattern you'd prefer to be visible in a way that makes them feel integrated. Combining more than one font in a word or a sentence is a contemporary typographic flair that can make a headline or logo appear more visually interesting. If you need to make one or two letters disappear in order to make space for a new variation, then you guessed it, Mask is the tool you'll need to easily create this effect. You can try these ideas out right now by downloading the free app. All the links you need are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.